Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how can we use functions inside set modifier. So the topic is functions returning members. I have already created few videos on set analysis. If you haven't gone through with those videos, I strongly recommend you to watch those videos first. You will get link of all those videos in the description section. I will also give you QVF file and data file so that you can also do the practice. So in a set analysis, we can simply mention members in modifier so that you can predefine values of particular field and you can get data according to your defined members. So I will show you one example. I will create one state table and country is my dimension and I will say instead of total sales I will say country equal to I will mention India, UK and USA and we'll see that we can get results of three countries here. So what exactly we have done here is I will break this expression something like this so that you can easily understand. Okay, so we have predefined country here, India, UK and USA. So in fact, we know that we want to have data of only three countries, India, UK and USA. So we have predefined them and we are getting result according to our set expression. So this country equal to India, UK and USA, this portion is set modifier. I will remove this label so that we can see what exactly we have used as set analysis. So here we actually know that we want to have three countries data. But say we don't have any country which is predefined. Means if you see the middle table here, we have country and total sales data here. Say I want a table which will represent total sales of all the countries where we have sales more than 10 million. So here if you see this table, so more than 10 million we have this many countries up to South Africa. Tomorrow it could be possible that we have few more countries get added in this list. So we cannot mention the country name here directly because we want information as dynamic. If I will select say month, if I will select say June month, then in June month only one country is there which is having more than 10 million sales. So if I will select June month then I will get only one country. If I will select May month then I will have this many countries and if I will not select anything then I will get combined sales of May month and June month. So I will get this many countries. So this we need to get dynamic without mentioning this country name manually. So to do that first we will create one simple expression here and I will say first I will remove this filter and then I will say sum of sales. So I will copy this sum of sales. Sum of sales greater than equal to 10 million. So the result we are getting is minus 1 or 0. So we have simply checked sum of sales with 10 millions. So any line where we have sum of sales greater than or equal to 10 million, we will get result as minus 1 and for all other, we will get result as 0. So to get result in set expression, what we have to do here is, I will copy this expression and then inside this set expression, Instead of manually defining this country, I will use double quote. 
Double quote means we don't have any predefined value but actually we are finding the values using functions or we are doing some search. So in that case we have to use double quote and inside the double quote I will paste the expression which I have used and I will use equal to sign. So what I have done instead of predefining country value I have used the function and function is returning countries we have to use double quote and this function will only work when we will mention here equal to if I will remove equal to from here we will not get any data. So do not forget to mention here equal sign and now we will get our final result. So you can see now we are getting all countries up to South Africa. If I will select month of May then we will get only few countries because now our sum of sales greater than equal to 10 million means our inner function which is so our inner function is this so our this function is now considering the selections and the same way if I will select month of June then I will get only one country Indonesia because only one country has got sales of more than 10 million. If I will remove all the selections then we will get countries having sum of sales more than 10 millions and we are getting 15 countries here. These 15 countries. Hope you understand now how we can use functions inside set modifier through which we will get members and these members will predefine our respective field. In the next video I will show you how we can get top 10 or top 5 brands, countries or customers, product etc. by using functions inside set modifier. Till then thanks and have a great day.